uh, welcome to um, this special uh, small edition of uh, the 2X capsule. It's a capsule that's going to be flying next summer. And uh, what I'm doing right now is actually trying to get all the pieces together for the very first time to see if uh, the structure works. The capsule is a fitted the 2X uh, rocket. So this is basically the heat shield and uh, it's going to have a core structure and it's going to have a lot of subsystems besides its parachute. So it's not going to be a miniature of the main capsule with a small doll inside or anything. It's basically going to be a scientific experiment where we can uh, measure temperature on its way up and we can have a simulation of the re-entry through the atmosphere, which is a very exciting test, which we cannot do otherwise. But um, I've had a different approach this time for uh, the, the design. Instead of basically just uh, you know, cutting out pieces and welding it all together, we need a more open structure and we need a system which can be taken apart more often and all the side panels. So the electronic guides, guys with antennas and avionics and measuring systems can you know, fit it all together throughout the process. So it's very important that I uh, start up actually with creating the structure and the rest of the development can, can go on. So right now I want to attempt to uh, assemble the capsule and um, it's going to be very exciting to see because there's a lot of pieces and uh, it's a bit different from what I'm normally doing but uh, I like this very much. A piece like this is actually uh, a part of the center structure and it's, it's, it's fitted with all these uh, openings here so um, we can have a, this kind of a free way to uh, you know, attach all the interior systems. And let's see if I'm able to fit it together. There's going to be some markings here. So I can see if all the pieces are right aligned. The entire capsule is made from uh, aluminum. And the final capsule for the astronaut is also going to be aluminum so to, to get the best data on re-entry heating and for other systems we are actually creating this model in aluminum as well. One of the big challenges is actually to make this model heavy enough. If you want to have the correct simulation of uh, the re-entry through the atmosphere we need to have the same ballistic coefficient as the, uh, as the final capsule. And if you do a bit of calculation on this, that actually tells you that this model here needs to have a mass of almost 80, 80 kilograms, which is very heavy, especially when it's made from aluminum. The, the structure itself uh, of the capsule without the systems is about 35 kilograms, but then we have maybe 10 kilograms of balloons and uh, drogues, parachutes, uprighting systems, and maybe about 10 kilograms of uh, avionics. So that's why we need to put in ballast so we can have the mass center correctly and we can actually have, uh, you know, the same configuration as the full-scale capsule so we can do the re-entry test. Now this is uh, the main structure. This is where we're going to have, you know, the, the majority of the forces from the parachutes and from the impact heat shield and, and also, you know, being fitted to the rocket. This is where it all goes through. Right now I'm going to be attaching extra metal on, on these aluminum sides here. And there's a reason for that. Let me just find one. All right. Each of these four structures here have these end openings and each of those are going to take a balut or a droke. But I don't want to push it too hard because it's aluminum. So we are going to strengthen the, uh, the structure with actually fitting these just plain carbon steel plates on each side. And that actually enhances the strength of the structure so the aluminum alone is uh, capable of taking maybe about a couple of hundred kilograms or a couple of thousand newtons uh, but with these side panels here we can uh, go all the way up to almost one tons so uh, 
it's quite an improvement and a, and a very easy way to you know to to uh, enhance the structure. And I figured out a way to create the entire structure just from laser cutting, which is one of our primary production methods, not in-house, but uh, done someplace else. But uh, if, if you have just created the design correctly, you can pretty much do anything with the laser cut parts. And uh, thanks to our dear sponsor of SolidWorks, this entire structure has been uh, created in that software and exported for laser drawing. It's always very nice to see that it all fits as it's supposed to. And it's a uh, it's actually a great way to you know to, to do it like this where you can take things apart and you can put them together again instead of just welding it all together. There's quite a bit of freedom and uh, all right um, Shoot holders is in place. Then we're going to have one of the, the top rings, which is going to also align the structure. And uh, let's see if it, it fits. All right, perfect. This is also going to be the base for the top part of the capsule, which we're going to jettison through um, uh, when we're going to enter the atmosphere. So we can deploy a balloon and then later on a drogue. And it uh, fits perfectly. And that helps out with aligning all these structures for the rest of the part. Because of these uh, different uh, angles here, we're gonna have to install another section here so we can add the side panels. And um, I have those here. They are all four individual pieces and they fit perfectly inside each structure. All these parts when they have been uh, put together are not going to be completely welded up but they're just going to be having a couple of points so it's it's held together because uh, when the main structure is uh, is, in, uh, is ready for complete assembly. There's really no need for, uh, for taking it apart again except for the side panel and, and certain openings. All right. When this is in place, we can use that to add structures for the side panels. Like one of, uh, let's say, this one. Which I just did yesterday. And it fits here, like this. On the bottom, we're going to have this piece. All laser cut parts just uh, bend as a comb. All right, fits as well. And you see all these opening here, openings here. And there's going to be panels as well here with openings. Through here, we can actually screw in the uh, the side panels and take them on and off and so on. So uh, I'm, I'm interesting, very interested. Oh, or, sorry to see if the system is uh, as good as we want it to be. Clearly not ready for space yet, but it will be. So this is basically the structure. I got another ring here. Uh, no need to put it on, but it's, it's gonna be down here. And uh, so this allows us to have this, uh, this structure, also with the parachute uh, tube inside. And uh, then we're gonna have a complete freedom of installing all the systems on each side, which is uh, going to be uh, a great improvement also in the development process for the rest of, uh, the, rest of the team, adding all the systems. So this is the capsule for the uh, 2X mission next summer. And, uh, Already, I, we have gone. We have come a, a far step in, in the design, and, and it looks good so far. It's very exciting to work with.
what I would do without SolidWorks and without laser cutting. This is definitely a way, a way to do it. <laughs>